Rocket City Trash Pandas pitcher Kieran Lovegrove says he's cautiously optimistic following Major League Baseball's announcement that they plan to provide housing for minor league players starting next year. Lovegrove had spoken out against the league and the Trash Pandas parent organization, the Los Angeles Angels, for what he called poor living conditions. Lovegrove spoke to News 19's Hunter Drinkard following the league's announcement. So, Hunter, how is he feeling at this point in this story? Yeah, Greg and Siobhan, he tells me that the housing announcement is a good first step, but he says after he and other teammates experienced serious mental health crises because of the lack of support from the league and the Angels, there's still more work to be done. Kieran Lovegrove fell in love with America's favorite pastime when he was just five years old. I had a chance to go see a Dodgers game up close and personal, and I got to go on the field with Paul Duca and get a ball signed. and. Uh, from there, my love for the game was instilled and, and really deeply rooted in my psyche. Fast forward to 2012 and Lovegrove found himself a third round draft pick with the Cleveland Indians organization. He spent nearly the past decade as a pitcher for various minor league teams, the most recent, the Rocket City Trash Pandas. The Trash Pandas themselves are an incredible, incredible entity. But for Lovegrove, the excitement of playing in the minor leagues has been tainted by what he describes as poor living conditions. And you just keep pushing and pushing because you have the opportunity to do something incredible, which is play baseball. Um, but I think it's gotten to a point now where that payoff doesn't match the sacrifice that we're making. He says just days after he learned he had been assigned to play for the Trash Pandas, he was on a flight moving to the Rocket City. When he got here, he was given a list of apartments to reach out to to apply for housing. But the ones on the list were either far too expensive or didn't have units available. So he and his teammates were left scrambling, paying out of pockets for hotel rooms, and one night choosing to sleep inside Trash Panda Stadium to avoid paying for a room. Putting it on the players to find a place to live on a short-term lease within a budget that may or may not have furniture, most of them don't, plus you have to get a mattress, plus you have to get the internet set up, the electricity in certain places you have to call and get set up, and you have to do all that in a very short period of time where you're getting ready to go into your first few games of the year. Lovegrove says the announcement by the MLB to provide housing for minor league players starting in 2022 is a welcome first step, but he doesn't trust that it will be done with the players' best interests in mind. This is the bare minimum. This is the bare minimum of humanity in terms of taking care of your employees. Now, the MLB has not yet released details on how the housing program will work, but today a league spokesperson told me they're working on finalizing those details and plan to release them in time for the 2022 season. Meanwhile, Lovegrove had originally said he planned to retire from baseball after this past season, but he told me after COVID-19 forced the last few games of the Trash Panda season to be canceled, he's still not sure what's in store for him moving forward.